Hello friends, welcome. I'm Commissar Mark and today we are going to take a look at how objectives work in CS3 Augustus. This is going to be essential information in order for you to properly handle the new CS3 Reconquered campaign as well as most of the recent custom maps that are made for Augustus with Augustus specific features which now allow objectives which unlock or lock specific buildings, unlock new local resources to be produced or various things of this nature. The limitless options provided by this new mechanic is going to allow custom maps to go one step beyond and truly tailor the experience to what the map makers want, bringing the map making into a completely new age with CC3. Something to note is that this topic is too expansive to go into right now, so we'll be doing a tutorial for map making as a separate video, but I'm here today with you in order to explain how these objectives work for you as a player, not as a map maker, so that you can understand and comprehend how these things work in game. Since it's completely new, a lot of people might suffer from confusion if they never handled something like this before. Other thing we'll touch upon today is debugging events. This could happen on any custom map or even in the campaign. We made sure it's tested properly, but there could still be some bugs related to either your Augustus version or even there could be a mistake left somewhere who, which didn't get discovered by any testers. Which means that I'll tell you what to do if it happens that your map is bugged. For example, you fulfill an objective you get the message that something should have happened, but it does not happen in reality. Rather than trying to solve it with sending the file to me, which is an option, but if you want to say, uh, solve it yourself, I'll show you how to do it. But you need to be mindful that this option is basically cheating. So if you were to abuse this mechanic, debugging, you could essentially turn any map that has bells on it into your own sort of thing and tailor your experience on it, enabling, disabling local resources, um, doing your own custom events, adding money, whatever. It's like cheating. But for the purposes of debugging, I'm gonna show you how to set up a simple example of when an event would fire and you are supposed to receive a new resource to be uh, locally accessible on your map, but it did not happen in reality. With the debug event, I'm gonna show you how to make it enabled properly and then you can continue playing. Of course, if you do this, don't forget to let me know that you discovered this bug, but this will allow you to actually continue with your run without interruptions. So, we are here today on the first map in the campaign Reconquered, which is the mission one called Ostia. This is the first mission of the regular campaign, redone, repurposed, and how it works is, you can see on the right side where you have the messages from your scribes. This is where all your messages are piled into, be it that your city might be in debt, there is enemy army approaching, there is a price change, quota change, or indeed custom messages. Now on each of these campaign maps, the very first message that's gonna be in the list is going to be your instructions. And this is not the perfect example since this one does not have as many things to read in it, but if you click on this, it's gonna play the Caesar intro and the fanfare noise. Now, if we scroll down, all the information is easily accessible here. So you can go back and read it if you forgot something or need to double check. Very easily accessible. Just make sure you do not delete this. If you right click on a message, it gets removed. It is good idea if you want to keep it smooth and clean to remove some of the redundant messages later that you get further along the line, but you should always keep the main instructions message intact so you can consult it in terms of what you need to achieve, it will always state your goals. Same as additional objectives. In this case, we got an additional objective, which is Rome encourages immigration. And that is our first objective, which is to achieve 200 population. And so with these objectives, this is a custom message, but it actually tells you on the very bottom, what are you tasked with doing? A lot of maps will have this in the campaign, in a conquer, as well as custom maps that are made recently, where the map maker will task you with a certain thing you need to do and it could either be, as you see here, achieving pop goal, you can also have it as stockpile certain amount of resources, um, achieve prosperity, it could be very numerous amount of things, but I always prefer to tell player exactly what needs to be done in order to progress with the quest in question. There are 
two kinds of objectives in the Reconquered campaign. Some of them are main objectives, which means you need to complete them in order for the map to be possible. Usually this relates to unlocking key structures that might be locked at the mission start in some cases. So you need to follow that quest chain. It's usually fairly simple. You just need to you know, do what's necessary. A lot of the times it will include massing amount troop numbers or reaching certain population or prosperity, things like that, or sometimes building a certain structure. Now, that gets us to secondary objectives. Secondary objectives might be things that you not necessarily have to do, but it will help you along your way. And so it could, for example, unlock extra trade routes. It could um, change prices. It could even trigger extra attacks. If you make a choice, some maps will present you with a choice. If you, if the message happens, you read it and it says, Within a year, construct an academy or a mission post. These buildings are usually the two I use. This is a choice. If you do it within that one year, it's going to activate the choice, which is, you know, that you will have to choose from. Either the mission is going to become more militarily hard or economically hard. And so you choose. Either you build it or you don't. And then after a year, this choice is just settled. You cannot no longer, if, even if you build that academy later, it's not going to trigger this. So it's made just that short time window. That means read every message that is sent and is custom very carefully. These things are super important for the campaign to work properly. You could lock yourself out of important things. It's not necessarily gonna destroy the city or prevent you from winning the map, but it will be annoying if you know that you could have maybe done something a little bit different. So always read the messages. They are there for your um, purpose to be able to tell what are you supposed to do so it's not hidden from you. Now, as I said, it's always at the bottom. What you need to do and what happens is always at the bottom right here. So with that in mind, I'm gonna just play the map a little bit, achieve this population and we'll see what happens. Now, I've made a very rudimentary block, which has enough housing space to accommodate the required population, which has currently exceeded the limit. Now, we still didn't get the objective to be triggered. Why is this? We only got employees needed, which we could remove, as I said before. Well, the thing is, um, the events work on a monthly basis. So even though we have the required population, we need to wait a month for that to trigger, right? So if we just let the game run a little bit, we should see a month tick by, which is going to open up a new event, which is establishing trade. With the colonist foundations established, we are now have many idle workers. Open a trade route with Rome and start extracting clay and timber for export in order to fund further construction. The king will demand resources from time to time, so make sure you fulfill his requests for tribute and goods. So we unlocked warehouses and raw goods production, which we didn't have access to before on this map. And we have a new objective, have 10 raw resource production buildings and stockpile 2000 denarii. So now we are tasked with making industry. Notice that this is exactly how you should play maps, which is first you build a rudimentary block, you make money and only then you feed people. Unless you really want to rush military and that's not really the case on most maps. But this is usually how it goes because the vanilla game goes the other way around where Caesar tells you you should feed people before you make money, which leads to bankruptcy a lot of the time. So. You know, just small little things, but this all helps in terms of progression, and now we get unlocked raw materials. So even in the, even in the first mission, we get farming, we get raw resource extraction, we get all these things. These missions get progressively more complex as you play the campaign. For now, the, in the first mission and second mission, they are very rudimentary. It is still the tutorial, it will still tell you about these things. But keep in mind that it will... Um, impart important knowledge on you and tell you exactly what to do. So read these messages carefully, as I said before. Now, in order for me to teach you debugging, we need to say an example that for, I don't currently have available any, uh, any education structures. So let's say there was an event that happened, which said you should have unlocked schools, but it did not happen for me for some reason. Presumably it's bugged. So instead of trying to search for a solution online should take weeks possibly just build a well if it's available which on the campaign it always is but again don't abuse the cheat system obviously or like do what you want cheat if you want to but don't then post it anywhere because it's really shameful <laughs> like i don't want to see any cheat cities but you know do what you will it's it's accessible to everyone with this debug you can basically do anything and I'm gonna give you this information because everyone should have access to it and no information is out there yet. So 
you type you um sorry i i should have been explaining what i've been doing so we click on the well we click alt bit combination of alt k and then alt x and it opens up the console now in the console itself you start typing no capital letters debug dot custom events without a space bar in between those two words and then you hit enter and it's gonna open up a screen which is this is scenario events this is what the event structure is the unlocks and locks of things and if you want to for example just fix the fact we didn't get the school we go into here click new event which is gonna add one down here you see that it has no conditions and no actions I'm gonna go into detail of how to design events uh, with a specific video because it requires XML file to do it properly with messages but for now this is just for debugging so let's click on this it's gonna open up the menu and so I would just go into new action and then click on this and there is a drop down menu that or a menu that opens up and you go and allow or disallow buildings it's one of the usual ones that would be problem and find a school which we will find somewhere over here let's just take a look I'm blind Marble library school there we go click on the school and we click allowed it is true which means it will be allowed and the event will summarize it for you allow or disallow building school is allowed so you see what is gonna happen and so now if we were to just go back with right click and then right click again it's gonna exit the menu and after a month what's gonna happen this school will now become available in the map itself I'm gonna show you that but before we do let's just quickly go through some of the other things we could do um, in terms of debugging if something else was for example bug so um, you could cheat straight up like favor money you know you add numbers so like money adjust money and you click 50,000 denarii and this is a range so we can add like for example between 15,000 and 25,000 denarii and it's gonna pick a random number between the two or you can set the both at the same like both are 25,000 which means it's always gonna be that number and you can also set it to repeat so every month you will get this kind of money and it, you, you can set how many times it's gonna repeat but this is just for cheating don't don't do this obviously but um again it's for debugging purposes so let's see if we do other things so we could change the raising so this is uh, you know prosperity piece um you can amend that as well it's again another cheat thing you could change local resources available this is what is available on the map so you click you pick a resource from this menu so for example if you wanted iron to be on the map you can enable it to be produced and that's gonna also happen so we allow the school we allow the, allow the iron we all set this to not repeat because uh, I don't want to and now we need to wait a month so you see we don't have the school and we only have clay and timber on this map so we'll give it a month to tick by and now we check and we have a school and we've got a raw resource which is iron mine which was not here previously it also does corresponding workshops but on the first mission there are no workshops yet workshops are a separate uh, building you can enable as well if you just go back and see if we allow or disallow buildings and we go workshops through which means all workshops will come allowed or disallowed so this is how you debug events i'm gonna just quickly go through the list if we want to do anything else with the actions you can also start requests or invasions but i think that's mostly it you can circle through the list yourself just check what's there i just sit still help don't do this currently it is bugged and it creates ghosts which means dead people who are still taking up space in your city housing so don't really use this uh, especially if you make maps because it will make people's life help because you will have a lot of ghosts so you know keep it in mind and I think that's gonna be it for coverage. Uh, you know, we we take we took a look at the event system. It's very basic, as I explained, but it's gonna get progressively more intriguing and complex and all that. You also should just mention in the new Reconquered campaign make extensive use of the card depot. I've explained how it works in a separate video. You can check that out. But just know it's an immensely powerful tool and it's very very important and. It, interesting on to use on the reconquered campaign it will help you massively with the terrain difficulties and things like that because even capia which is the first proper mission will pit you with 
some fairly difficult challenges in terms of terrain as opposed to what was in the original campaign but it's not crushing all the tools are there you can always deal with everything it's just that if you expect very open sandbox maps you are in for a rude awakening it's not gonna be a sandbox it's not but every city looks different there is always one third extra space and food on every map it's just that it's no longer branded designed so you know in in terms of making it interesting and challenging but again it's not brutal it's not custom map level brutal so keep those things in mind enjoy yourself with the new campaign which is gonna release on the 30th and i'm gonna see you again next time bye